വെൽക്കം ടു മൈ ചാനൽ ഏവർക്കും എൻ്റെ ചാനലിലേക്ക് സ്വാഗതം സോ ടുഡേ വി വിൽ ബി ഡിസ്കസിങ് ഓൺ ദ എം സി ക്യൂസ് ആസ് യൂഷൽ വി വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂ ദ എൻ സി ക്യൂസ് വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ്പ് ഫോർ റേഡിയോ തെറാപ്പി വിൽ ബി കണ്ടിന്യൂഡ് ഫോർ ടുഡേ സെഷൻ എലോങ് വിത്ത് ദാറ്റ് ആസ് ഐ സെറ്റ് ബിഫോർ വൺസ് എഗെയിൻ ഐ എം ഷെയറിംഗ് ടു ഓൾ മൈ വ്യൂവേഴ്സ് വി ഹാവ് സ്റ്റാർട്ടഡ് അപ്പ് ഫ്യൂ ഓഫ് ദി വാട്സപ്പ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ആൻഡ് ദ ഫസ്റ്റ് ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഈസ് ഫോർ റേഡിയോഗ്രാഫി കോച്ചിങ് ദ അനദർ ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഈസ് ഫോർ എച്ച് സി പി സി ക്വറി third one is for nhs special that all those who are preparing for nhs interview can join this group as we will be sharing a few questions and along with that we will be having a group discussion so it is a very um, special group and a very helpful group for all the radiographers those who are uh, preparing for the nhs interview and the fourth group is the koru registration koru query group for ireland and the fifth one is the canadian association cmrt query group if you have any interest to join this group you can just whatsapp me i'll be giving my whatsapp number as well as my mail address in my description box so please feel free to mail me or whatsapp me and those who need any study material for those who are preparing for the licensing exam and those who need any study material for licensing exam in jcc can just mail me at the mail address will be given in my description box so today's uh, mcq is a continuation of part 6 uh, of radiotherapy those who have not yet watched part 5 and part 6 please watch and after that if you are watching this video will be more clear to understand so i'll be putting the link of part 5 and part 6 in my description box after watching those session kindly watch this session then only you will be more clear to understand if you like my channel and if you like all my videos please don't forget to share among your friends colleagues and please do support me by subscribing and enabling the bell icon so that you will receive the notifications of all the videos i am uploading so patiently watch till the end and stay tuned so let's begin today's session that is part 7 tutoring of radiotherapy i have already started a radiotherapy two sessions that is part 5 and part 6 this is a continuation of part 6 those who have not yet watched those sessions kindly watch i'll be putting the link of part 5 and part 6 in my description box moving on to the question question number 66 imrt stands for option a intramedullary radiotherapy option b intensity modulated radiotherapy option c interstitial modulated radiotherapy and option d is intensity maximized radiotherapy the answer is option b intensity modulated radiation therapy so let's see the explanation intensity modulated radiation therapy that is imrt is an advanced type of radiation therapy used to treat cancer and non cancerous tumors and it used advanced technology to manipulate either the photon or the proton beams of radiation to conform to the shape of the tumor imrt uses multiple small photon or proton beam of varying intensity to precisely irradiate a tumor the radiation intensity of each beam is controlled and the beam shape changes throughout each treatment and the goal of imrt is to confirm the radiation dose to the target and to avoid or to reduce the exposure to the healthy tissue to limit the side effects of treatment so the main goal of radiation therapy is to provide maximum dose to the tumor cells with minimal dose to the surrounding normal tissue moving on to the next question question number 67 which is the commonest primary brain tumor option a medulloblastoma option b glioma option c neuroblastoma and option d is pituitary adenoma the answer is option b glioma glioma is the most common type of primary brain tumor and it develops in the jn cells which is involved in several brain function and there are several types of gliomas that is including low grade glioma and glioblastoma 
क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटीन द लेंथ ऑफ वन टर्न ऑफ डी एन एज ऑप्शन ए थ्री पॉइंट फोर ए ए एंड स्टैंड फॉर आई एम स्ट्रॉन्ग ऑप्शन बी थर्टी फोर ए ऑप्शन सी ट्वेंटी ए ऑप्शन बी थ्री पॉइंट जीरो फोर ए द आंसर इज ऑप्शन बी थर्टी फोर ए अकॉर्डिंग टू वॉटसन एंड क्रिक मॉडल ऑफ डी एन ए द डी एन ए मॉलिक्यूल इज मेड अप ऑफ टू हेलिकल डी एन ए चेन that a wound around the same axis as you all know dna are double stranded the distance between two consecutive pair base pair is 0.34 nanometer and one complete turn of a double helix has 10 base pair so 10 base pair which means that 0.34 into 10 means what 3.4 nanometer which corresponds to 34 amp strong law moving on to the next question question number 69 stereotactic radio surgery is a form of option a radiotherapy option b radio iodine therapy option c robotic surgery and option d cryo surgery the answer is option a radiotherapy so stereotactic radio surgery means srs is a non surgical radiation therapy used to treat functional abnormalities as well as small tumors of the brain it can deliver precisely targeted radiation in pure high dose treatment than traditional therapy which can help preserve healthy tissue and this stereotactic radio surgery of the brain and spine is typically completed in a single session means by a single fraction in order to treat small tumors of the brain moving on to the next question question number 70 wh ladder is the rational titration of option a radiotherapy option b chemotherapy option c anti depressant and option d oral analgesics the answer is option d oral analgesics WHO analgesic ladder was a tragedy proposed by the World Health Organization WHO in 1986 to provide adequate pain relief for cancer patients Moving on to the next patient patient number 71 the following are indications for post operative radiotherapy in case of carcinoma endometrium except option a myometrial invasion of more than half thickness option b positive lymph node option c endocervical involvement option d is tumor positive for estrogen receptors the answer is option d tumor positive for estrogen receptor which is not an indication for post operative radiotherapy All other options are in are the indications of post operative radiotherapy that is myometrial invasion positive lymph node as well as endocervical involvement let's see the explanation endometrial cancer is the most common gynecological cancer among women surgery is the primary treatment and if there is a high risk of recurrence then it will include other options that is radiotherapy chemotherapy or the combination of these modalities moving on to the next question question number 72 the technique employed in radiotherapy to contract the effect of tumor motion due to breathing is known as option a arc technique option b modulation option c gating and option d shunting the answer is option c gating respiratory gate radiotherapy is used for involvement in the irradiation of the tumor sites affected by respiratory motion such as lung breast or liver tumors for treating in these areas we can prefer a respiratory gate radiotherapy so that maximum dose will be given to the tumor tissue by sparing the normal tissues Question number 73 which one of the following radio isotope is not used as permanent implant option A iodine 125 option B palladium 103 option C gold 198 and option D cc 137 the answer is option D cc 137 permanent brachytherapy inserts needles pre filled with radioactive seeds into the tumor 
the doctor will remove the needle and leave the seeds behind the seeds may also be implanted using a device that inserts them individually at several intervals the procedure may use medical imaging to help position the needle and the doctor may do more imaging tests later to verify the seed placement moving on to the next question question number 74 The most definitive method of diagnosing pulmonary embolism is option A EKG EKG is simply echocardiography option B radio isotope perfusion pulmonary scintigraphy scintigraphy is related with nuclear medicine option C is pulmonary arteriography and option D is venography The answer is option C, pulmonary arteriography. So let's see the explanation. Pulmonary arteriography, is otherwise known as angiography, is a test to see how blood flows through the lung. Angiography is an imaging test that uses X-ray and a special dye to see the inside the arteries. And arteries are the blood vessels that carry blood away from the heart. Question number 75. Which of the following causes rip notching on the chest radiograph? Option A. Bilateral blend shunt. Option B. Modified blood tossing shunt. Option C. IVC occlusion. IVC means inferior vena cover occlusion. Option D is coitration of iota. The answer is option D. Coitration of iota. Rip notching refers to the deformation of the superior and inferior surface of the rib. And bilateral symmetric rib notching is a diagnostics of aortic coitration. It is a result of obstruction of the blood flow at a narrowed aortic segment in congestion with collateral blood flow through the intercostal arteries. And intercostal means the space between the ribs. Then uh, you might not be knowing this. That is what is bilateral blood shunt. That is it is a procedure which directs the blood flow from the vein directly to the lung rather than the heart pumping the blood to the lung first. And the second one is modified blood tossing shunt means it is a surgical procedure used to increase the blood flow to the lung in some forms of congenital heart disease. Hope you all are happy with today's session. So with that I am coming to the end of today's session. Uh, so patiently wait in my next upload. Until then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay. Tuned.